over the years, um, John Wick, and how do you explain, how did you shape the character and the character also you, because you always get something back from your characters also, mm. right? Um, yeah, I mean, I, the, the project was sent to me five, six years ago, and uh, met with the writer and the producer, and from there I had notes on that script, and so I guess that's where the relationship between the character, the world, and me started. Um, the character was older, the pace of the film, so I, I had some notes, they did that. Um, and then when I worked with Chad Stahelski and David Leach on the first John Wick, I had known them through The Matrix and Chad had been a stunt double working with me. So then I knew them and so there was a real shorthand and really collaboration. And then going into chapter two with Chad, really that's where I started and he started to just, whatever came into our head, what were the islands and that's ideas and that's where we started to really be the captains of the ship and, and if that's really the expression or the, the, the kind of the muses of it. Yeah. And Chad had the vision. Um, and how it shaped me, uh, um, I guess in the fantasy world, I'm not as capable as John Wick. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? That. Like he's very <laughs> yeah. capable. But, um, but I think we both have a strong will and uh, um, yeah. I'll, yeah. s I'll start with that. So there you, but also like Hallie had to work out like crazy, you know, like she told me the, the, her daily routine. Is that something, I mean, that's part of the job, you know, but how much pleasure do you find meanwhile in working? Out? I think it's, um, I mean, for me to be able to do John Wick action and to train for it is, is really one of its best gifts. Mm -hmm. You know, I think because it's so difficult is because <laughs> it's what makes it worthwhile, right? Yeah. And I love it. So, yeah, whatever it takes, I'll, I'll do. And also because you say I love it, bikes and dogs. Mm. This is what I understand is also a little bit your passion personally. What do they stand for you? What, what does a dog mean to you and what does... The yeah, I don't have any um, domesticated, confined animals. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, awesome. I mean, I like dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I had dogs as a kid. Or I had a couple yeah. of dogs. Some English bull mastiffs. Jupiter. Um, but I love motorcycles, I love riding, and uh, you know, it's great to work with the dogs in, in John Wick. If you would have the time, would you like to have a, a dog, or, do, or you're not so into this domestic? Uh, you know, I really don't have, uh, I, 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 I would always be like, can you look after my dog? I have to go. Yeah. I, I'm you sorry. would I feel mean, bad. You would, yeah, I would yeah. feel bad all the time. And very, la <laughs> very last question. So, meanwhile, John Wick has this, um, you know, fan crowd. It's women, it's men, it's different generations. And this is amazing. Yeah, um, rare. Is that also like with more and more success, the pressure is more on? Um, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, um, but that's a... That's a wonderful situation. That's that's a gift too, right? To be in a situation where people love what you do and yeah. they're hoping and expecting and you know, yeah, we don't want to let it, let anybody down. So hopefully people will like John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum.